Hello and welcome, YouTube friends. Today is Saturday the 10th of August. It's maybe 12.40ish p.m. just after noon. I'm in central Copenhagen, so there are a lot of tourists about. Um, and also, it's somewhat windy today. Right now we're in lee of the wind, but there are some strong gusts every now and then, so I hope you'll be able to hear me. So, where are we going today? Or maybe I should mention the weather. It's typical Danish summer weather. It's it's quite nice. It's not too hot for my liking. It's probably maybe 22 degrees Celsius, which is all right. But like I said, quite windy. Let's see how they manage through that tight tunnel there. He's probably done that a thousand times, so yeah, yeah, that's plenty of room. For those of you who've been following my channel, I actually actually intended last season to take a boat trip with my camera. Um, and, and until this very moment, I've actually completely forgotten about it, that I wanted to do that this season. <laughs> uh, I... <sighs> I think I know why I've forgotten it, because like you saw, that boat there is completely packed. So I wanted to do it somewhat uh, off-season, but also to, before it gets too cold. Um, yeah, but I've forgotten. So let's see if I remember it. This coming fall perhaps should be when we do it. All right, where are we? Central Copenhagen. We're at. Um, we're actually walking in the back entrance of Christiansborg, Christiansborg Palace. Um, this Parliament is the Danish Parliament. I'm quite sure that we will not be allowed indoors, but I think they'll be fine with us filming from the outside. The buildings you're about to see first are um, I'm not sure they're functional anymore but they used to be at least the royal stables and I have to be careful with my ankles here this this is uh, at least I'm a very clumsy person so yeah well these buildings off to the side at least they used to be the royal stables but I'm not sure if they're functional anymore. If they moved the operation to the countryside, they might have, I am not sure. But these buildings here to the side and in front of us is the backside of uh, Christiansborg Palace, Parliament. Let me see if I can snap a picture for my Instagram. Hang on, guys. I think it's too far away, but let's try it anyways. All right. We have visited this place before, but it's actually maybe a year and a half ago or something. It's in my older videos, you can check it out if you want to. Um, but I thought it was so long ago and I don't think it was in the summertime, but I might misremember. So I thought we might take a, a little trip here today. might not be the longest walk today because I want to save battery because I want to do two walks in a row today for two videos because I'm running a little behind on shooting my videos 
been somewhat busy. Next weekend, I'm going on a little trip to another town in Denmark to like a nerdy beer festival. Um, I plan to bring my camera and not probably to the beer festival, but I might, if everything turns out as planned, I might have a little walk in the morning before we go to the beer festival. Um, so I'll tell you more about the beer festival there and more about the town. This is just meant as a little teaser. But since this is the first video of two I'm going to shoot today, uh, the video I'm, I'm just, I just talked about might not be until two weeks from now when you watch this. We'll just take, we'll go this way that I'm pointing the camera now, but we'll just take a quick detour through this passageway here. To see a um, museum we visited a few months ago, Torvaldsen's. It's just for those who didn't watch the video, I just thought I'd just shoot the uh, the building for you guys. All right, that's it. We like I said, if you're interested in the museum, there's a video. Um, not too far back from bo both outside and inside the museum. Anyways, let's go have a look at the statue and then get closer to the castle afterwards. It was definitely not the summer holidays the last time we were here because I, as far as I can remember, it was pretty much empty the last time. So what do I, I know about this castle? Um, I know that the ground that is built on, there's been different castles here because I think maybe all of them has actually burnt down. So the, the one standing now is quite new. I think it's from early 1900s actually. But the first one that was built here was shortly after Copenhagen was founded, which was in the in 1100 and something. <laughs> don't remember the exact date for the 1100 and something um, and I actually think the first one actually stood for quite a long time maybe even a, a few hundred years um, 
but as far as I know it burned down and they built a new one in the 1700s and the 1800s um, so I think this is the fourth maybe because they all burned down yeah, I'm not quite sure but I th fourth I think And yes, this is where the parliament is, office of the prime minister and what have you. If I remember correctly, it was, I don't know if the fourth version here or one of the other versions, I, I can't remember, but I think at some point it was built to, to, to be the residence of uh, the monarchy. But they prefer to live in uh, where they live now, a Malian ball, which is not a palace, more like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know the English word for this. The Danish word would be pelle. I'm, I'm not sure about the English word. Um, what's over here? But anyway, so they used it for Parliament instead. Don't know. Oh, okay, it's just where we, where we just were. Cool lamppost, eh? Maybe you can get a better look from the other side because of the sun. Hang on. I think this is the line for apparently you can take some sort of tour. No, it's the restaurant. I think. All right, so now we're out in front of it. Um, I'll turn around in a while so you can see it from the front. I think actually we'll go down here first. There's a church right next to it. I forgot what it's called, sadly. I might see if I can remember to post a link to it. I forgot what it's called. Uh, traditionally, it was where um, actually royalty got married until I think our king now when he got married i think actually that wasn't here i think that was in uh the big church forgot his name also i'm not big on churches um but we've been there also not inside but outside also a church over here in the distance called Holmen's Kirke, Holmen's Church, I'm not sure, but it's also, um, yeah, like I said, I, as far as I can remember, I'm not big on either religion or royalty, so I don't know any details, but I'm quite sure this used to be where royalty got married, 
Let me just take a picture. All right, enough of that. Okay, so this is, oh, a lot of tourists. Hang on, let me just maneuver away from them. But so this is the front of Christiansborg Palace. Yeah, against the sun. I think I'll go to the the other side. I think that'll get a better shot. Also, we can take the statue over here as well. Side and we can get a picture of a statue. Hang on, guys. Yeah. And the front of Christiansborg, I think we'll. I'll give it a bit more distance to see if we can get a better shot. Hang on, guys. better no, that's not too good that's the thing about cameras like this they're great for walking to us but when you want to take a picture or if you want to film something really big like this you need some proper equipment but I'm guessing you guys get the gist of it I think maybe we'll head to the other side of the street to get more distance maybe get a closing shot from over there still be against the sun guys so and tourist buses in the way and stuff like that but I guess you get the, the gist but anyways guys as per usual thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me push all the buttons if you haven't already and um, let's hang out next week bye bye